Good morning. In this video, I wanted to do a quick review of a series of books that we've been using over the years by a science teacher by the name of Janice Van Cleve. Uh, she has dozens of books that are relative to the many principles of science and mathematics. And these books have proven to be quite successful in our homeschool as they are project-based and they are unit study-based. Um, when we usually start our science lessons, I may start working and creating my lesson plans from the science textbook, mainly to get vocabulary words and just to, the basic outline of how the lesson is to be taught. And then I quickly go outside of that and I go to the library and I get whole books and we do a lot of extensive reading and we do a lot of uh, experiments. So this is a series that I've built over the course of the years and I just wanted to share with you uh, what the books look like and the different subject matter. This is not all of her books. I purchase them as I need them. These are the different um, subjects that we've covered and we always go back to the books. We don't do, you know, every single experiment in its entirety, you know, the entire book. We'll come back to it if we revisit that unit, re revisit that subject, or if the children, you know, want to go back and are still interested in that particular subject, if we've moved on, they can easily come back and do whatever's in the books. But, um... These books I purchased used as well. If you look at the condition of these books, I've only spent one cents, five cents, plus three ninety nine shipping from Amazon.com. So I highly recommend that you check out Amazon.com for used books. I purchased none of these; and they were all used, and they're in great condition. But um, each one of the books, um, when you are introduced to part of the subject matter, it'll start with a problem or a question, and then it tells you exactly what you need for that experiment. It tells you what the procedure is step by step. It will break down the results. It will also go in depth of what that particular subject is about. It has its own set of vocabulary words, so you can easily pull vocabulary words out of this book. And there's also alternative experiments to follow up the initial experiment that you are to conduct. So I really like these books. Um, these are tailored to the younger children and the smaller books like this are more towards upper elementary, middle school. But I tailor them all to fit the needs of all my children. I've simplified some of the concepts so that my younger children can participate and understand them as well. But I just wanted to show you really quick a really nice collection of books that you can add to your home library to complement your science curriculum. Um, here's one I actually have for geography. There's a lot of cool hands-on activities in this book and for geometry. And this was good in um, creating a math notebook. So um, whenever you get the opportunity, go to www.amazon.com and check out her selection of books. And I would recommend you get them used. Like if you look at the quality of these books, they look really good for one cents, two cents. I paid more in shipping than I did for the actual book. So when you get a chance, check out her books.